today on Running to Him. Our defense of the mute, the outcast, and the lost begins with our walking with Christ and sharing Him. If you are joining us in going through Proverbs, today's reading is Proverbs 31, verses 1 through 9, and we will concentrate on verses 8 and 9. Proverbs 31, 8 through 9 says, Open your mouth for the mute, for the rights of all the unfortunate. Open your mouth, judge righteously, and defend the rights of the afflicted and the needy. Now, I was watching a documentary the other day, and a statement was made which was very profound. A person was asked about the scriptures and the government taking care of the poor. He responded that the scriptures certainly did talk about taking care of the poor, but he was addressing the God followers, Jews in the Old Testament and the Christians in the New Testament, who have that responsibility, not the government. So let's look at what verses 8 and 9 teach us about our responsibilities. First, we are to speak for those who can't speak. While this adjective literally means those who cannot speak, they are mute, it can be expanded to mean those whose ability to speak, even when they physically can speak, has been silenced in some way. For example, those whose political power has been shunted or taken away need to have someone to speak for them. Those who have been charged with a crime need an advocate. Those who are lost and don't have a direction need a voice to follow. We also need to reach out to those who need guidance in life. We who are believers are the ones who can help people gain a foothold in life. Certainly other programs can patch them up, but it's only a Christ who can heal. It is only Christ who can bring meaning to their lives. In today's news, there were three articles concerning teens who killed other people. These young people, a mixture of girls and boys, have so little in their lives that they are reaching into evil to fill that empty space. Only Christ has the answer to the turmoil of life. Only Christians can offer a hope that brings meaning and value to life. We as a nation, as a people, have lost the only thing that was holding us together as a people, that of the principles of life found in the scriptures. We have now divided ourselves into so many different groups that there is no unity. There is no defined meaning of justice or righteousness. We need to reach out to those around us, those without Christ, and meet them where they are and bring them to a relationship with Christ. Our defense of the mute, the outcast, the lost, begins with our walking with Christ and sharing him. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.